good morning good afternoon good evening everyone and welcome to today's ms project webinar we genuinely appreciate your valuable time and your interest in our webinar so thank you so much for joining us i can see that around 20 plus participants have joined yet we are expected to join few more participants but let's start now due to some time limitation so let me quickly introduce myself and my company i am harshad from knowledgeon it services Knowledgeon is one of the premium training and certification providing organization in India, headquarters in Pune, established in 2012. Knowledgeon is only platinum partner in this region. We are aggregated partners of PMI, Isaka, Exim, TUV, and others. So that's bit about Knowledgeon. In this webinar, you will learn about project management fundamentals, and I am sure you will get more clarity about the MS project training. So, are you guys really excited today? Just type in the chat, excited. Yes, I see a lot of replies are coming. Great, great, great. Thank you, thank you, guys. So before we dive in, let me introduce to our today's esteemed speaker, Mr. Mahesh sir. He brings 28 years of IT service and product industry experience in banking, finance, and insurance across USA, UK, Singapore, Malaysia, and India. With over 20 plus years of hands-on experience with MS project professionals and online with server configuration and administration, he is also a passionate trainer, mentor. for it project management also he has authored two acclaimed books aimed at preparing candidates for the prince 2 certification examination so we understand that your time is valuable and we truly appreciate you being here today so if you have any questions feel free to use the chat feature and we will address those at the end of the session so now without further ado I would like to hand it over to Mr. Mahesh sir to kick off today's section. Welcome, Mr. Mahesh sir. Thank you, Arshad. Thank you so much. And uh, you can see there are almost forty plus participants, uh, and it is growing. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, uh, and greetings. Uh, so let's get into this uh, uh, subject for today. Uh, it's a vast subject, and uh, You know, we'll be making an announcement at the end of this uh, end of this webinar, end of this session about uh, you know how will you how will you benefit about uh, this thing from Northam. Uh, but before that, let's uh, let's understand the subject a little more in detail. Okay, so this is what all Harshad spoke about uh, the Northam, and. Uh, now it's almost more than a year i am in fact more than a year and a half now i am associated with uh, nalathan as well okay uh, before we get into this is today's agenda project management tools then we will talk about uh, why uh, ms project microsoft project professional and online both and then uh, what are the different job roles uh, some indicative salary ranges across the globe for project management professionals and then uh, i'm uh, i'll i'll be talking about uh, you know one of the course uh, information that that is going to get launched from coming month okay and then we will have a q and a session so before we go uh, and i i go to the first slide and we get into that one question for everyone do you use any uh, project management tool per se and uh, uh, it is acceptable that a little customized use of excel uh, as a project management tool also is uh, pretty much acceptable so uh, i request you to please just uh, type in the name of the project management tool that uh, you use or either, either it is uh, your project is using it or maybe uh, you know your organization uses it you just know it but you are not using it that is also fine Uh, but whatever the name of the uh, project management tool is being used, uh, or you may have used it in past, I request you to just type it in the chat box. And uh, Harshad, uh, please help me with those names. Yeah. 
any sure, names? Sir. Any names for project management tool? Yes, so one is return is Jira, Confluence, okay. Plutora. Plutora. Okay. There are so many, and I'm very sure you, you all of you must be using it. Maybe either you are using it directly under full control of yours, or maybe your team is using it, your project is using it, or maybe that's a uh, that's that's a tool used across your organization. So to define your tasks, to monitor those tasks, to create the reports for your project management, you must be using some tools. So what are those? Any other names, Harshad? Yes, I guess Snow is the Snow. Uh, Snow. Then okay. Mota Data, Zoho. Okay. Hey, great. Okay, great. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, these are just a few names, correct? And uh, let me take you through the five top project management tools, all time favorite. The first one itself is Microsoft Project. It's a, it's a full product suite uh, in the market since 1984. So this year it will be almost like uh, uh, 40 years this tool is there in the market. It's a very comprehensive and even after 40 years, uh, the the scheduling engine of Microsoft Project Professional is unbeatable. No other tool available as on today in the market can beat the scheduling engine of Microsoft Project Professional. It's that fantastic, right? And then it has got features for every other thing that 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 needs to be managed uh, by a project manager or by a project management team. It has resource management, it has cost, uh, cost management, cost reporting, schedule management, uh, your project progress tracking, uh, be it a complex project which you want to break it down into some sub projects. Yes, you can manage it. Even over the years, uh, Microsoft has released uh, program level, portfolio level management. There are workflows. And the best part is it integrates with many of the Microsoft uh, you know, tools and other tools also. Uh, it is uh, integratable with other external tools as well, but it has got a very tight and uh, seamless integration with um, Office 365, uh, SharePoint, your Outlook. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, recently, uh, I think just uh, just in the latest version, uh, they launched uh, some specific templates and tracking mechanisms for Agile projects also. So now Microsoft Project Professional as well is ready and can support uh, precisely the Agile projects for Scrum, Kanban, all the different phases of it. So after 40 years, this product is still the strongest product in the market. But uh, you know, there are some cons also. Um, it's a it's a bit heavy tool, and it's costly as well. So, uh, you know, for smaller organizations, it becomes a little little challenge uh, to manage the cost of the licenses. Okay. Then to beat that, uh, there are there are other uh, few tools which are which are available in the market now for a few years, and uh, they are quite settled. Like one is this Basecamp. Okay, the base camp again is like it's 23 years it is into the market and it has uh, dashboards which gives the whole picture, the holistic picture. Correct. It, it, the dashboards are not only about say your uh, resourcing reports or your cost reports or your uh, you know timeline report, your milestone report. No, the, that, the dashboards are so beautiful and uh, uh, I would say th so thoughtfully uh, uh, they are created that uh, uh, you know. It gives a complete whole picture of your uh, project, and uh, it has got this uh, Kanban uh, method or the style very nicely integrated for reporting. Uh, it has got a document management features, and again, it can be integrated with uh, multiple 
other applications as well. Then the next name is, as some of you said, it's Jira. Uh, Jira, uh, now uh, Atlassian's uh, Jira. Uh, majorly when, the G when, when Jira as a product was launched, the whole focus was on the Agile projects. That doesn't mean I cannot use Jira for uh, waterfall or hybrid uh, method uh, projects. Uh, I can still use it. Uh, I can, in fact, use Jira for some specific purposes also. Like, uh, uh, you know, I have seen teams using Jira only for defect management. So all defect reporting, defect tracking, root cause analysis meetings, etc. Only that part of Jira was being used. Correct? Some projects, uh, some teams, they use all the features of Jira. Even they integrate it with, uh, you know, the tool like Confluence, which again, uh, adds on a lot of uh, a lot of more features like uh, uh, document management risk management etc so but then the basic uh, focus of jira was on the agile projects to manage the complex workflows uh, schedules and then there are uh, these project boards are available in terms of the reporting uh, which will which will give a lot of information about this task their dependencies the sprints and the backlogs and it is highly customized. So among these three names, if you ask me, Jira is the high, is the highest. Uh, Jira offers the highest level of customization. Microsoft Project also has got a customization. Basecamp also has got the customization features. But Jira, amongst these uh, four or five top tools, uh, Jira has the highest customizable options or opportunities possible. Uh, then there is a new entrant, comparatively a new entrant, Asana, uh, and another one, Trello also. So Asana is a is a complete uh, web-based, cloud-based uh, tool. Uh, here, more than the project management, uh, it is it is referred as uh, or it is seen as a task management tool with the workflow management features also. And then there are team collaboration options available. There are fifty plus uh, templates available. And uh, it, it can be integrated with a lot of office productivity tools and applications as well. So I will say among these five, Asana is, uh, is a pretty new entrant and uh, uh, you know, it is growing up. The market presence of Asana is growing up. Many uh, organizations are going for Asana. Uh, even here, the licensing uh, is very easy and uh, comparatively, uh, I would say, cheaper than uh, be it Microsoft or be it Jira, Asana licensing is fairly simple. And then there is another one, Trello. Trello, Trello has got a best, uh, I would say, mobile interface among all these. It is so easy to use Trello on your mobile, which makes um, you know the life very easy for uh, uh, many of the team members, and especially those team members who work on film. Say you are marketing folks, your sales folks, uh, one of your field executives, service agents who work on the field. The Trello offers easiest and best mobile interface among all these. Okay, even though Asana is a is a SaaS uh, product, but then SaaS platform, but then uh, the mobile interface. If I have to uh, see, then it, uh, it is it is best offered by Trello. Right. Uh, I have been fortunate enough. Uh, I though I am I am working on Microsoft Project uh, since two thousand three. Uh, I have used all these other uh, four four tools also, and some more. Like I have used Zoho products, which again is a is a very fantastic featured uh, tool, and uh, it is it is a it is a tool developed by a purely Indian company. Uh, so I like Zoho also, and uh, Zoho has got. Uh, you know, a large suite of pro uh, products, and uh, it's an integrated uh, suite of products. So you are uh, a Zoho CRM, Zoho HR, Zoho projects. There are so many Zoho. Um, uh, I think Zoho MM, like uh, materials management, also uh, is there. So Zoho, I would say again, uh, I'll put it in the in the sixth rank if that if, if that is the thing. Uh, equally, smart sheets is another uh, uh, popular tool, uh, and uh, I will see this is more popular in the in the western side of the world. 
it has uh, it has got an Excel type uh, uh, interface and uh, again fantastic features for collaborations, task management, task tracking, reporting. Uh, it's it's pretty much a feature rich product, I will say. And then there are all these like proof of uh, proof hub, Notion, Monday.com, and task. So many tools are, and this is this is a very partial list. Like I have not even picked up, I will say, twenty five percent of the list. There are so many other tools available uh, in the market for the project management. Correct. Uh, I have given you the list. Great, good, but. The question is, why do we want dedicated project management tools? Because all these tools, they incur some licensing cost. They incur some uh, training curve. Like if if I start using any any tool uh, any tool uh, for the first time, or whenever uh, there are new joinees, uh, freshers who join the team, or whenever there are people uh, get into the project management function, but they are completely new uh, to this function and the way it works. There is a learning. Curve. So, you know, there is there is this learning curve in terms of the time and in terms of uh, uh, cost also. So why there is even a need uh, for. For a tool to manage the projects, any thoughts, any quick thoughts, maybe, uh, you know, you can put it in the chat box. Why do we need a project management tool? Oh, Harshan, again, please help me monitoring the chat box. Sure, sir. Any thoughts? Yeah, Kiran said project progress review. Project progress review, correct. So the tool will make uh, the progress review or uh, progress tracking okay, very easy correct okay. progress review or progress tracking the tool will make it easy the kind of the reports the dashboard the status updates that i can get from the tool uh, it will be it will be very easy uh, it will take less efforts i can even automate a lot of things so yes right pro uh, progress review any other uh, uh, reason yes. why should yeah planning and tracking the project correct so planning purposes now as i was saying you know microsoft project has got the best scheduling engine so when i plan what i need is my wbs so the list of the activities allocate the resources have the dates estimate uh, the efforts so again to do all these planning activities if i'm using a tool uh, Things will be more accurate, less human error. Uh, it could be automated as well. I can have uh, you know some notifications or triggers if some things are are deviating uh, from from the expectation. Then you know I can put some triggers also there. So yes, for planning and uh, tracking again, uh, I, I need a tool. Again, the data accuracy is mentioned. Absolutely, data accuracy will be very, uh, very high. Uh, manual errors will be reduced, right? And uh, you know, now as we are looking at uh, the age of uh, uh, data as a currency, and then uh, you know, AI, which is very, uh, which is very data hungry, because the more data I feed to to this uh, uh, AI ML models, uh, the more accurate uh, uh, predictions or warning signs that I will get. Right. So again, a tool will help me to handle to manage a large amount of data, which which will be which will for sure it will be difficult if I have to do it manually or even even if I have to do it by you know, something like an Excel. Now, Excel is a spreadsheet, uh, though we can customize it and we can use it as a project management tool, but it is an uh, essentially it is an uh, a worksheet mainly used for uh, calculations. So uh, it, it's it's. Let's not call it as a full-fledged project management tool, okay? though it can be used as that. Right? So there are various reasons why we need the project management tool. Right? Now the question arises: uh, to be 
one thing is to be a project manager and then learn the tools or may not even learn the tools, just play the role of a project manager without having any uh, expertise in any of the tools. Uh, and on the other hand, uh, you have this project manager competences to play the role. And now you have the uh, you have the knowledge, hands-on experience of any of these tools. Correct? Uh, the second situation will give you a lot more advantage in your role because you will be able to identify, highlight the risks as early as possible. You will be able to uh, do the data analytics as early as possible. Now, as, as we speak at this moment, there is a huge, uh, I would say, initiatives which are being run and uh, you know people are bringing uh, artificial intelligence in project management also. There are some certifications also in, in this regards which are launched and available. Uh, there is uh, There are multiple uh, tools which are being enhanced, uh, multiple options, possibilities are being uh, explored uh, from the process side and how this AI and AI based tools or the tools which are already available in the market, how they can be enhanced uh, with AI and the project management uh, as a as a domain. So will benefit uh, from this. So being a project manager as well as having the knowledge of the tools is a great combination uh, which of course will add a lot uh, into your profile. Right? So, why MS Project Suit is on the top, okay. or um, um, why there are many large size tier one, tier two organizations? They still depend on, or they still spend a lot of money in in licensing and using the MS projects. There are many reasons I have tried to capture uh, the key ones. If I actually start putting every reason, then probably the list itself will go on multiple pages. OK, but let's look at some of these features because of which Microsoft project becomes the number one uh, project management tool even after 40 years uh, being into the industry. Uh, and I'm saying this very confidently because, uh, as I said, I have used uh, all those top five, and uh, uh, you know I do consulting, and I've been doing this consulting for uh, one US-based product company who again have their own SaaS platform for project management, and one Pune-based product management company which is again 25 years old. They have this. Uh, product of theirs, which is again 25 years old and it's still very strong in the market, but then it's not as good as Microsoft Project. Okay. So no other tool beats Microsoft Project, and especially in the scheduling engine thing. Right? Uh, what are these other features then? Microsoft Project uh, gives you the feature which is very seamless. It's, it's just like uh, you know, working with Excel sheets or working with your uh, MS documents, uh, Word documents. Uh, it gives you a feature which is as easy as that, but then with the help of which you can manage multiple projects at the same time. You can actually create this master child child relationship. So there can be the hierarchy of the projects that you can manage in one way. Correct. Uh, Microsoft project now uh, it is it is actually divided into two parts. One is the uh, Microsoft project professional, which is a desktop version. And uh, then another one is the uh, Microsoft Project Online, which is the uh, server or the uh, SaaS platform. And these two are again so seamlessly integrated that you make a change in the project uh, here in the desktop version. You just uh, push it, you just publish it, you just save it on the on the server side, and it is reflected. And then once it is on the SaaS platform, any and every of your team members can see it. You can set up the rules which users at what level of the organization can see what information. You can do the workflow management. You can do the portfolio management. Uh, you can completely customize your planning, tracking, and reporting. So you can have this uh, uh, multiple fields. So for example, let's say uh, you're running a project and uh, this project, your, your teams are sitting across uh, different countries and uh, uh, you know, your single project is, is going to make different impacts uh, 
uh, in different countries and you want those specific values to be to be estimated to be tracked to be reported country wide so you can actually customize the project professional you can define this what what it is called as a custom fields and you can have multiple rules set on those custom fields multiple types of calculations are possible it's it's like you know it takes you to the very basic level of the database and you can you can structure you can construct your own customized database which fits in with the product which again can be published onto your uh, web version of it right so it is complete customizable planning tracking and reporting that can happen in uh, microsoft project uh, another thing is uh, you know power bi is is one of the i would say uh, easiest uh, and uh, very low cost uh, reporting or data analytics and uh, data presentation tool correct uh, microsoft project and power bi has a fantastic easiest integration so you have both the systems uh, on your device on your machine and you just have to it's, it's like a click and drag kind of a thing it is that easy kind of integration between power bi and uh, microsoft project and once your data from the project is in the power bi you have the full uh, world uh, open in front of you for uh, data analytics and uh, data presentation then as i was saying it is it has the best scheduling engine uh, microsoft project can be adopted as an enterprise wide solution you need not go project by project and by you know, by different licenses and then uh, spend in in pockets which may be uh, costlier but uh, microsoft has got some enterprise level uh, costing and enterprise level features uh, as part of their solution as I, again as i mentioned it supports your waterfall and agile also agile uh, agile scrum and uh, kanban so you are uh, reporting on the or the in integrated dashboards uh, it happens in the kanban way and uh, agile scrum is the life cycle that uh, microsoft project supports with the standard templates and it gives you the option to customize it also then uh, uh, of course with every office productivity tools uh, it integrates very fantastically uh, a, a very nice integration with uh, sharepoint and the, the possibility of integration of, with the sharepoint opens again multiple doors you can do your document management risk management incident management and i have configured all these features between microsoft project and uh, you know sharepoint sites and sharepoint features uh, again at one place microsoft project will will allow you to do your resourcing resource management your task management your schedule management uh, your cost management your risk management uh there are at the at a nitty gritty level there are so beautiful features like i can i can make some tasks inactive inactive those tasks will still still reflect in my plan but those will not affect my schedule you know this comes handy so many times especially when i have uh, internal as well as external team members uh, working on the same project Uh, it has got a team collaboration, so it can uh, you can integrate this with uh, Microsoft Teams and Word and Excel and PPTs and Power BI and so many other pro office productivity tools. And as I said, this is just uh, I would say some of the key uh, features of Microsoft Project, which makes it uh, the best tool uh, available in the market even after 14 years. uh anyone here in in the in the attendees who have used microsoft project or who have seen uh you know some of their colleagues using microsoft project any exposure with microsoft project professional or online if you have then just say yes you just type yes in the chat Harshad, any anyone? Yes, there. I'm waiting for reply. Okay, maybe uh, no. Our our seven participants they might have not used Microsoft Project per se so far. 
but uh, I think that's that's still a good thing. It is this presentation will probably uh, open some new thoughts in their minds, and they would definitely like to explore it. Uh, there is a, uh, there is a seven days no there is a one month trial version also uh, available on the Microsoft site. Maybe you, know, you you want to download, try, do the hands on, and see if uh, how how do you feel about it. Okay, so going back to my one point earlier before I went into this thing, so project manager, when you are playing a role of the project manager, and then you have the tools knowledge also. As I said, it will open a lot of uh, opportunities for you. It will add a lot of value to your profile, a lot of, lot of credentials to your knowledge. Correct? Uh, what you see on the screen right now on this slide is we'll, we'll go to the right part a little bit later. Let's first understand this hierarchy. So what I've done is I've considered uh, the project management or the PMO function. Now you may have a separate dedicated PMO or you may not. That is absolutely fine. But even under this thing, there are, there are two strings. One is you can be an individual project manager. Okay, So you don't have a PMO and your delivery uh, leadership or your uh, delivery unit or your, your business unit, it takes care of, uh, uh, you know, the project management thing. Uh, that is absolutely fine. Or you may have, uh, uh, you know, a dedicated PMO on that. So in the cases where there is no PMO and uh, the delivery units are taking care of the overall project management and the project delivery, uh, and, uh, you know, this, this looks the hierarchy. So, uh, you are PM already. I'm assuming you are the project manager already, or you are aspiring to be the project manager. So after the project manager, it will be the senior project management or project manager. So as a project project manager, you might be uh, managing one or two projects. As a senior project manager, you will get into the management of some more projects, like multiple projects, five projects, seven projects at the same point of time. So you'll be the senior project manager. Now, even so, there is a possibility that you know this. Uh, seniority uh, will continue and then that will merge into the delivery management role. So you will be after the senior project manager, you will get into uh, you know a delivery management. So delivery manager, senior delivery manager, then maybe director, VP. So that will be kind of the uh, organizational hierarchy that you will grow into. Or there could be divergence. Now what are those divergences? The first one is the domain specialist project manager, right? So let's assume that you have 10, 12, 14 years of uh, banking and finance domain experience. You have recently entered into the project management area. And from there, you can grow to become the domain specialist project manager. So you, you can manage, you can uh, be the responsible person for all the managerial activities for a project, but at the same time, you bring your, all your domain experience, all your domain expertise in this role. Right? And on the other hand, similar lines in parallel, there is a technology specialist. PM, correct? And uh, you know, both this, so technology specialist PM, the, the person uh, you know, will be coming from a technology background, so maybe cloud technology, maybe uh, you know, some uh, development technology, full stack development. So somebody who has actually you know, spent years uh, doing the development there using different languages, etc. Uh, or maybe somebody who is a database expert there. Uh, and then the person gets into the uh, project management as their uh, line of career for them. So this person will or can uh, go and can, can climb the uh, ladder there in the technology specialist uh, project manager group. Both these specialist streams are, are growing, are being widely accepted across the globe. There is a huge demand for this, this combination of the skills, like domain and PM and technology and PM. So even if you're working in an organization which doesn't have a PMO function as, as, as a completely function in place, but even in that case, as an individual PM today, you still have a lot of opportunities to grow. And in your growth path, definitely uh, your skills will help you, but adding the skills into some of the project management tool will make 
from you will make a life very easy if i have to put it in a very simple words it will make life very easy now on the other hand wherein you have the pmo now pmo can be at different levels so your pmo can be a very strategic pmo or it can be very tactical pmo or uh, it can be very operational pmo okay so your pmo can be the leadership or uh, you know it can be just the management layer and then there will be uh, some uh, junior team members in the pmo also like project assistant and maybe project administrator and then, uh, you know somebody uh, who takes care of the project financials etc okay. so the different roles uh, or the, the career path in in this will be uh, if you are, if you want to go into the leadership role then uh, it will be the pmo director and the pmo head these two are the roles which are considered as the pmo leadership of course there will be a path that you will have to grow uh, let's say your organization has got a project management office as a function if you are the like when you are the project manager you will become part of this pmo function so from the project manager then senior project manager and then uh, the program manager and then uh, you will get into uh, this leadership roles of the pmo also okay uh, if you are still in the tactical pmo or a managerial pmo there then you can you can continue to play the role of a project manager and a senior project manager or a specialist project manager there as well then there is this another position which is very prominently it exists in the market Okay, and in fact, uh, there are certifications also uh, to support this uh, position. That is scheduling specialist. See, scheduling is is such a difficult task that it is, you know, it, it is a full time career within itself. And especially in the uh, manufacturing, automobiles industry, um, high end projects, this scheduling specialist role is is a is a very common, is a very prominent uh, uh, role and. Uh, as I said, there are certifications also for this. Then again, you can be the specialist manager in 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 this uh, stream as well. So you can be the you know the risk manager, or you can be the resource manager. You can even be the vendor manager. So all the vendor supplier relationships, their impact on the project, you can be the person in charge for this. You can be the change management. So whenever and whatever the organizational change initiatives uh, are being driven, you can be the you know the lead or the manager for that position. You can be the finance person. If you if you come with a lot of financial background, experience, expertise in the finance uh, area, then you can even be the uh, finance project manager and can very well be the part of this uh, PMO. Okay. And uh, just a little junior level said that is uh, you can be the project lead there or you can be the project administrator there. Administrator role, majorly the administrator will facilitate uh, a lot of things for the project uh, during project execution. Uh, and uh, uh, the administrators will ensure they will support for the success of the project. And then there can be the team members who are, who are still uh, junior positions uh, under the PMO. Uh, called as by by multiple different names and titles in the in the job market. So uh, it can be project assistant or it can be PMO assistant. There are various uh, names given to this uh, team team member. Right. So this is not only the hierarchy here, but this is this is the possibility of your full career growth. Right. From wherever you are currently, you can uh, grow up in the land. Now, when I say this, uh, on the right hand side, there is a uh, there is this annually uh, annual salary ranges are given for a project manager. So this, this these ranges are for a project manager who has the experience of uh, say 10 to 13, 14 years. As the experience grows, of course, the number will grow high, and uh, you know. If you see, uh, Switzerland is the highest paying country for experienced project managers. Uh, following that, it is Germany, uh, then uh, Belgium, uh, USA, UK, of course, has got a lot of demand for the project managers. And as I'm as I'm showing the salary ranges, these are uh, uh, 2023 end of the year uh, data. Uh, and uh, you know, there is a huge demand also. There is a huge demand also. So project management as a 
as a function or as a department, it is estimated to grow by almost five to six percent year on year. So multiple uh, multiple positions, multiple opportunities, and multiple specialist streams which are which are coming in this uh, in the in the current market. So as I said, there are a lot of efforts uh, getting into the uh, AI for the project manager uh, project management. Uh, now uh, there is a, there is this uh, ISO standard also which has come up for AI. So having these kind of combinations will help you become uh, a very well informed and certified and uh, knowledgeable project manager in uh, in your career path. Okay. All right. So let me come on to this information, and I think this will be of more interest to you. So what happened was uh, me and uh, some of our uh, colleagues from Nolathon, we have been discussing and we have been even collecting the feedback from our participants from different courses, not only in the project management area, but from the uh, other courses also. And uh, and yes, we did some market study as well. So obviously what requires is a skilled person, a certified person, and a person who who will be able to uh, you know work with the tools work with uh, uh, the technology and also will be able to manage the project so a combination which is which is which rather has evolved as a style of the industry in last uh, few years so domain specialist project manager technology specialist project manager and then any project manager is now expected to have uh, knowledge or hands-on experience, not only the knowledge, but the hands-on experience with one or the other tools. And then we had our internal discussions and we, uh, we explored what we can offer. So obviously the first uh, option came was project management uh, as a general project management, the fundamentals of the project management along with some tool. Now, when we when we looked at the tools options, as you saw, there are so many tools options. So we could have, we could have easily settled for uh, something easier like uh, like Syasana or maybe smart sheets or maybe jira which is again is a very popular especially around the it industry but then uh, as i said microsoft project professional is number one and then we decided to go with this number uh Nalathana has decided to make some investments for their participants and participants for this course uh, Whoever enrolls for this course, so there will be some investments from Nolathon side as well in terms of the licensing. But then we have designed this new course, which is like an instructor blade uh, training for 32 hours, which will give you, uh, which will give an advantage of learning the fundamentals of project management along with Microsoft Project. So just to give, give you one example, uh, when you learn the fundamentals of project management uh, or when you learn anything, like you, you learn PMP or you learn Prince 2 or anything, there is a there is a thing which is called as planning. Now planning involves everything. Planning involves creating the activities, creating the schedules, estimating the work, assigning the resources, managing these resources, availability, etc. So planning involves all these activities. Now, why Microsoft Project? Because Microsoft Project is again one of the best tools to perform all these activities. So now in this course, what we are blending together is say an explanation of the concept, maybe covering 25% of time, and then remaining time given to that particular learning will be as a hands-on with the Microsoft Project Professional. So you know, the instructor will explain you what is planning, how it is done, et cetera, et cetera. And much more time that whatever you spend on learning this concept, you will actually be doing the hands on and that to using the best tool that is Microsoft Project Professional. So when you complete this and this will continue not only for planning, but this will continue for all the project lifecycle activities, right from initiating your project to closing your project. Now what happens with this is when you complete this course, you are not only informed and aware about the fundamental concepts of project management, but you are aware about the Microsoft project as a tool also. Right? 
So at the basic level, you will be able to use the tool. You will be able to uh, create the project. You will be able to uh, create the estimates, do all this resource management, risk management, track the project, create the report. At the basic level, you will be able to perform all these activities. Correct. Now, once you know or once you learn this hands on with the best tool in the market, even if your organization uses something else, or even if tomorrow you change your organization and now that organization is using some other tool, you will be aware and have done the hands on. So, learning the new tool, it, it becomes almost like you know, cakewalk. Because that is the kind of the feature Microsoft Project offers you. Correct. So we have come up with this blended course. Uh, again, with a lot of uh, uh, hands on and then activities and then uh, you know, towards the end of the course, there will be some uh, practical assessment that will happen, not only in the form of multiple choice uh, questions and then no nothing like that. There will be some hands on practical activities. And that's that's where I said you know, Northon has decided to make some investments also for every participant for every batch. Correct. And uh, you know, that is how uh, it will it will help you to have the blended knowledge uh, on both the sides on the concept theories of project management as well as a tool and how to manage a project using the best of the tools, uh, best of the tool in the market. Right? So the first phase, first batch is starting on 20th July. Uh, of course, uh, uh, the team, the, the team from the Nolathon will be reaching out to you uh, with a lot more details. And uh, so if you are, if you are planning, if you are interested, then I think this is, this is one of the best places to start with. Right, and I think that covers my slides. And I'm open for question answers. So I'm going to stop the sharing for, for a few minutes. And I'm sorry, I request participants to put their questions in the chat. OK, so Shubham says my manager has used MS project. Shubham, I think you should reach out to your manager, get access at least for a few days. Get your hands on with Microsoft project. Keshav says use Jira tool. Jira is again uh, one of a very useful feature rich tool for agile project management. Great. Any questions? OK, which currently is the best AI certification for project managers? I believe there is one uh, which is offered by PMI. PMI, the name is not on top of my mind, but yes, there is one which is offered by PMI. So that is, is one of the best AI uh, for project management. OK, fee structures for this course, I think uh, Harshad or, or, or the team will reach out to you, Abhishek. Right, Harshad, please. We can make a note uh, for for the yes. course that we are launching. Okay. Yes. Yes. Right. Mayanran is also uh, asking the same uh, same thing. So first batch, I think we have announced it for for 20, starting on twentieth of July. Uh, for more details, uh, Harshad and team will will get back to you, Mayanran. Uh, that is for PMP, uh, for PMI. OK, so the question from Karthik is uh, for PMI, we need to have three years experience. Is it right? Uh, so Karthik, yes, it is right. But that is for PMP certification for uh, CAPM. Uh, no, I don't think there is a three years experience required. And especially if you are looking at this uh, AI certification for project managers, then uh, again, uh, there's no need of uh, three years of experience uh, as such. PMP is, uh, is, I will say, is a little bit. Uh, it's a certification for a higher uh, experienced project managers. So yes, it requires minimum three years.
uh, sessions for our blended course, uh, they will be India time uh, 10 to 5. Does Microsoft also run a certification for MPP specifically? It used to. It used to, and uh, they discontinued it in 2019. So it is almost like five years now they have discontinued. Uh, no other, like no plan to relaunch it in a in the near future. But yes, there used to be a certification also for PMP. Uh, sorry, uh, MPP. All right, any other questions? And uh, Harshad, I believe you will be sending this uh, PPT to all the participants. Yes, the recording session will be uploaded on our official uh, Nolathom YouTube channel. No, no. Yes. Okay. So guys, if you have any questions, feel free to use it, our chat feature. Yes, please. What is the difference between PMP and PMI? PMP is the certification. PMI is the governing body who uh, who runs that certification, who facilitates that certification. Okay. So, okay. PMP is a certification. PMI is not a certification. PMI is Project Management Institute. That is PMI. And PMP, that is Project Management Professional, is the name of the certification. Okay, so if you have eight months experience and uh, if it take PMI, does that okay? So right now, uh, I I don't think directly the PMP will help you, but then there are other certifications like say for example the Prince Two Foundation, which doesn't need any experience, so you can go for that, or uh, uh, you can go for uh, certified Scrum Master. If your organization is agile, if you're in IT, then you can go for certified Scrum Master, which again related to uh, project management. Right? Or you can go for CAPM, which is another certification, uh, Certified Associate Project Manager, that is CAPM. And uh, it is also offered by Project Management Institute, that is PMI. So either CAPM or Prince2 Foundation or uh, Certified Scrum Master, these would be the three. One of the most recommended certifications for you, uh, Karthik. Okay, Avinit, thank you so much for joining. So, PMP is certified and five years experience to job from B to product management. Uh, my suggestion will be. You possibly look for a, a senior level job as a project manager into business development only. See, you already have five years of experience in business development. Why you want to go west? So there are positions, there are opportunities in the business development field itself wherein you will be managing the projects. So you know, maybe uh, check for that. Okay, Paman, I think uh, the participate certification certificate, you will get it after this, maybe by tomorrow. Harshad can comment on that. Yes, yes, sure. The participant uh, certification will get uh, from us. We will okay. share you within two, three days. Okay. Yeah. Animesh is asking if MS project will help, if not in the project management field. Uh, Animesh, uh, just as a curiosity, yes, it may help you, but. Uh, uh, as I said, it's a it's a costly thing, so uh, I won't recommend you as an individual or anyone as an individual should invest such a heavy amount for the even for the single licenses. Uh, but yeah, if you are interested, you can explore the uh, you say the free version for a month or so, and then see how it helps in your job. Great. Any more questions? Any certification on MS project? Uh, not by Microsoft project. There are, uh, there could be few institutes who can offer you, uh, you know, certificate of uh, participation or certificate of completion, but uh, there is no uh, certification on MS project by Microsoft now. 
so cost of training for this uh, course which uh, Navathan is launching, I think that that email communication you will get it uh, from Harsha end. Thank you, Animesh. Thank you for joining. All right. So I think we have covered enough uh, questions. Yes. Any maybe one or two before we close. If anybody has it, I would still like to take it. CAPM and what are the other certifications? Prince to Foundation. I'm just typing the name Prince to Foundation. You can go for it, or you can go for uh, uh, Certified Scrum Master. Again, there are many other different institutions who offer this certification, CSM, or you can go for C. These are the most useful three for, for the beginners, for the freshers to start. You are in the core field of mechanicals. Uh, shouldn't be a problem, even though you are, see, even a mechanical engineer who is managing the projects, will need to learn this tool. So one of my batchmates from my college days, he is a civil engineer now. And for last almost like 20, 22 years, he's, he's working now. He's, he's some senior person in a, in a construction company. And he is equally expert in Microsoft Project. His company uses it and he's also using for so many years now. So he's using Microsoft Project Profession. So, even though you are in the core field, uh, you can you can think of uh, any of this. Uh, Agile may not be that greatly suitable for you, but CAPM or Prince2 Foundation, any one of them, you can go for it, uh, Karthik. Thank you, Narayan. Thanks for joining. Helped a lot. Thank you, Karthik. I'm happy. You found it helpful. Thank you, Abhishek. All right, so I hope you find this webinar both educational and enjoyable. I hope you guys feeling you. awesome today. Are you guys really feeling awesome today? Just type in the chat awesome. Yes, I see a lot of replies coming. OK, so thank you so much for joining this yes. webinar. If you have any questions. Or if you have any queries, just contact us for sure. Our team will get back to you. So once again, thank you for joining this webinar. So thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you, Asha. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye.